Hey guys, welcome back to True Sound Studios. I'm Wiesna. Today we're gonna get into some of the basics of production. I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your DAW and import and use loops. So today we're gonna to use drum and guitar loops from my website, buffaloops.com. And if you guys sign up for our newsletter, you'll actually receive all the loops that I'm gonna be using in this video today absolutely free. There'll be a link down in the description if you guys wanna sign up. Okay, so let's jump over to the DAW and I'll show you guys how to do this. Okay, so to get started, the first thing we have to know is the tempo of the song that we wanna start producing. So let's just go with something a little bit easy, 120 beats per minute. It's a, it's a good place to start. So on this DAW, which is Cakewalk Sonar Platinum, there's also a free version called Cakewalk by BandLab. I'll put a link in the description box down below if you guys wanna check that out. Is up here, uh, we have the tempo right here. So if I double click on this, I can go ahead and edit the tempo. And in this case, we're gonna do 120 beats per minute. I just click off the screen and now it has adjusted the entire project to 120 beats per minute. So now we're gonna go over and grab the free pack from buffaloops.com. And I'm gonna go up here to file and we're gonna to go to import audio. So here's our free pack. It's called the Neapolitan pack. And uh, let's start out with drums. So let's just, first one on the list is Big Vintage. Now, if you look at, we have listed all the tempos for these free loops. We'll pick, uh, we have three that are in the 120 beats per minute range. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll pick this one. So I'm just gonna click, double click this, and you can see it's gonna pop up on the screen. So right now, what we need to do is we need to move this, this loop all the way back to the beginning. And if we go up top to the very top left, there's something called snap. We wanna have snap on, which allows us to pull this all to the, the beginnings of each measure. And if we wanna change the timing, right now it's on whole notes, we're gonna right click and we can go to the different options. For this case, we wanna keep it on whole notes. This is definitely gonna be the easiest way to manipulate these loops. So we can go ahead and click on whole. And as long as they're both illuminated blue, that means they're both on. So what we can do is we can take our drum loop and we can just slide it all the way back to zero. And then if we use our little rewind button, this will take us all the way to zero. And if I hit play, I'm just gonna adjust the volume a little bit. It's probably gonna be a little loud. That's our drum loop. Okay. So now let's say uh, we wanna make this loop longer than it already is. Right now it's about 16 seconds um, into the track, but we wanna make this, maybe we're gonna make this loop for a minute long song we're gonna do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the track, we're gonna hit copy, it would be control C, and then we need to create a second track. So I've already created one here. If you don't know how to create a track, you right click and do insert audio track and that would be our new track. We don't wanna use MIDI, these are all audio files. You wanna make sure you insert an audio track. So I'm just gonna delete that. This is my second Buff Loops drum loop track. Once again, I'm gonna copy this, and we're gonna see that this loop ends right here. So right on nine is where we wanna click our cursor. You can see this snaps to all the individual measures. So if we click here, and then we wanna click on our second track because that's where we wanna put this. And we're just gonna highlight that second track and then we're gonna hit paste and there's our drum loop. So if you just take a listen from here. Now the reason why there's some overlap in that, uh, in that original loop is because if you listen, if I just solo this, You can hear that floor tom is ringing out. You know, based on how how you want your drums to sound, you know, cutting that off and creating a full loop out of it would would chop off that tom. We really didn't want that. It's not just not something we wanted um, for our loops, especially with something like this with real drums. So now we have this that is gonna flow into each other. So if you guys are enjoying this video, please click that like button. So now we're at roughly 32 seconds, but if we wanted to get to that minute long, now we can actually go ahead and right click and we can drag this blue box over both of these audio files, hit copy once again, go to the end of our second loop. 
which is at measure 17. But now because we're gonna actually copy both of these, we're gonna select the first track and then hit paste. And you can see now we've actually copied and pasted two tracks. So if you wanted to, you then could grab all of these, hit copy again, and go to the end and click one. And we could just, we could make this very long. You know, we can make this three, four, five minutes long, however long you wanted. For this video, we're just gonna make it a minute long. Okay, so now we have our drums. We, we're getting roughly to what we're at, one minute and four seconds. So that's perfect. So now we have a whole bunch of drums, but now we wanna add in some of these guitars. So Buffalo Loops not only does drums, we also do guitar loops. So now we're gonna click on channel three down here, track three. We're gonna rewind it because we're gonna to wanna to bring this all the way back to the beginning so we don't have to move things around. And we're gonna go up here to File, Import, Audio. And now we're gonna go back a folder. So let's go back to the Neapolitan folder. And uh, so we have, we have the Mood guitars, we have the Trip spaced out guitars, and we have Wolfpack. Well, let's, let's pick Wolfpack. And uh, so it looks like we only gave you one guitar loop at 120. So it's it's this one. This is actually both rhythm and lead guitars combined. But if we want to use them separately, we can actually just select both of them. And these are now separate files. And then we can click open. And you can see both of our guitar loops ended up down here. Let me resize these windows here. Something important to know is we make these guitar loops fairly loud because when you audition them, you wanna be able to hear the full volume. When it comes to mixing them in a full song like this, we're definitely gonna to wanna to turn them down. So if I click right here on three, you can see our channel comes up over here on, on the gain section or on the fader, you're gonna to wanna to turn this down roughly 10 decibels. That is the best way to do it. So you can turn down the gain or you could turn down the fader. Whatever you wanna do is gonna work. I'm just gonna uh, mute the bottom one right now so you can hear what this sounds like. So that's still a little loud, so I'm gonna pull this down a little further just on the actual fader. Okay, so that works. So now I'm gonna mute that track and I'm gonna listen to the, the, the other loop that we gave you. Now, once again, on this track four, gonna turn this down another 10 because that's uh, still very loud. Let's listen to it again. So that sounds pretty good. Now let's listen to both of them at the same time though. So if you guys like content like this and you wanna see more, consider subscribing. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. Now, if we wanted to jazz these guitar loops up a little bit more, let's say we go to three, uh, we can insert some reverb on here. So if I take a listen, we're just gonna solo just this one guitar loop. I mean, that might sound good just on its own. So I'm actually gonna mute this one for right now. So that sounds really great. Now, I'm sure if we combine both of them. That sounds very good. It definitely sounds like the beginning of a great song. So now, once again, if we wanted to copy these over and you know make this song much longer, but also cut it up in a different way, we can once again select them by dragging our box over with the, with the right cursor hitting copy, and starting right here, you can see these, these guitar loops don't have any overlaps. So we don't have to worry about what we did up top here with the drums. Click on track three, and just we can just keep copying these until the end of the song. But to make this sound a little bit more fun, maybe the next two sections, we're gonna take out that guitar so that it transitions like this.
So not only do I make these YouTube videos, but I also mix and master full time. So if you guys are interested in getting your song mixed and or mastered, all the rates and info are in the description box down below and you can go ahead and shoot me an email. So as always, thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these type videos for people who are starting out on either Cakewalk by BandLab or continuing using Cakewalk Sonar Platinum. If you guys do have any suggestions for videos, things that you would like to see, please leave them in the comments down below. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.